Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich has been summoned for further interrogation by the Director of Criminal Investigations at George Kinoti over the Aurora and Kimwara Air Dam scandal. He's expected at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations tomorrow morning to respond to get this 300 questions. But as Hassan Mugambi now reports, there are also criminal charges that they may be leveled against the Treasury CS and is not the only one being grilled tomorrow. Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich is a man under siege as detectives intensify investigations into the multi-billion shilling scandal in the Aurora and Kimware Dam projects. Rotich, who failed to appear Monday before the detectives, has been summoned by the DCI boss George Kinoti to appear at the DCI headquarters tomorrow to shed light on the 21 billion shilling scandal. Sources within the investigating team say the cabinet secretary is expected to answer 300 questions on how monies were released to the Italian farm before the project commenced. Rotich will also be questions as to why he went against the advice of the attorney general and signed off a deal with a company grappling with financial constraints. Rotich is also alleged to have written a letter to initiate the process of facilitating KVDA to acquire land from the Kenya Forest Service after establishing the flopped project was under investigations, a process investigators say is out of his mandate. Sources say lawyers representing the cabinet secretary have asked the DCI to avail the interrogation rooms as early as 6 a.m. If found culpable, CS Rotich is likely to face graft charges alongside Kerio Valley Development Authority Managing Director David Kimosop, KVDA Procurement Boss William Minor Kiprotich, and the authority's engineer Paul Serem, among other officials. The officers are likely to face misuse of public resources and abuse of office charges. According to investigations, a total of 20.5 billion shillings was paid to CMC Diravena for the construction of Kimwarer and Aror multipurpose dams in El Gayo, Maraquet County. An expenditure breakdown adduced from the investigations and which Rotich released indicates that an advance payment of 7.8 billion shillings was paid out. 4.3 billion shillings was released for the construction of Aror Dam, while 3.5 billion shillings was released for the construction of Kimware Dam. However, an additional commitment fee of 900 million shillings was paid to CMC Diravena for both dams. Another 10 billion shillings was advanced to an Italian insurance firm abbreviated CES as security for the construction of the dams. The money is alleged to have been wired to foreign banks. So far, representatives of 70 out of the 107 companies summoned have presented themselves before the detectives at the Directorate of Criminal Investigation headquarters and recorded statements. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.